Hey guys, Team Nosco here, and I have a new deck profile to show you guys. And it's going to be an Aqua Forest Blue Storm deck. Sorry, I haven't uploaded in a bit. I haven't had any new decks. I've just I've changed a few decks, and I, and I don't really want to put up videos of me just changing, like, oh, I, I made a new deck, but it's not. I just changed two cards. No. Alright, so this is a semi budget. Not really. Could be. Depends on you. Um, so our starter is Blue Storm Cadet Mario's um, Auto Forerunner. And what he does is, when his unit boosts, uh, I'm pretty sure it hits anything. Yeah, when, when okay, whatever it boosts, and if it hits Vanguard, if it, if it was the third battle of the turn or more, you look at the top five cards for a Maelstorm and add it to your hand. Reveal it to, reveal it to your button and add it to your hand. So he constant searches, is really nice, and it puts a, a great amount of pressure. So we're like we're going to start with the zeros because I like starting with the zeros instead of threes like other people. Alright, so we're running four of the Maelstrom crit. And what it does is, this one specifically has to boost Vanguard, which is sort of the downside that you can't put it like on rear yard and shuffle it back into the deck. So what it does is, fourth battle of the turn or more that it boosts, when it's boosting a Maelstrom, your opponent can't guard zeros. And then at the end of the turn, you shuffle it back into the deck. And then we're running four... Um, Blue Ace Soldier Brutal Tripper. Okay, so you guys are probably thinking, wait, if it's a Blue Storm, why are you running the Tetra Crit? So, what it does is, it just shuffles itself back into the deck. Because it's it's an act, put this on the top of your deck, then this is the effect, yada yada yada, but then there's a period right there, and it's a shuffle your deck. Because the card does not say act. If your opponent, okay, because the card does not, because the card does not say act, if you have a Tetra Vanguard, you may pay the cost, Put this card on top of your deck, choose your Vanguard, and blah 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 gets the effect. Which is really nice. They're making a lot of crits like that. Now, Rakami have it, Link Jugger have that, uh, Orgo Ding Tings have it. Uh, I forgot what else has it too, but it's really nice. You put a free. It's, it's sort of a minus because you don't get anything back from it, but you put a crit back into your deck. And it scares your opponent more. Next, we have four draws. I'm still needing to get three more. I only have one. Into the Soul plus three, give a unit plus. Into the Soul, give a unit plus 3,000. And then just generic four heals. Note this deck does not have any special counter boss, which is very, very nice about it. Now on to the grade ones. We are running four uh, Blue Storm Battle Princess the uh, Theata. So when this unit attacks anything, if you have a Vanguard with Maelstorm, it gets plus 2k. And its other skill is, they're both rear guard skills. Second time only, which is sort of weird. Second time only. It gets plus 3,000, so it becomes the 12k attack your second attack. Which is really nice, because it be 12k to the rear guard, 12k to the vanguard, and whatever boosting it, 7k makes it 17. Oh, no, that's not right. 19, I bad. Makes it 19, 7, yeah. So, whatever. Very, very nice card, very cheap, like 50 cents. Oh, all the crits are really cheap, they're all like 15 cents to 25 cents. Uh, this is a new promo that we recently got from Shop Logos, but they changed it already. Um, it searches for old school Maelstorm. Um, Blue Storm Battle Princess um, Coralia. Uh, Coralia. So, what it does is it's like the Mordor Phantom Great Researcher. Um, when it plays on Rhaegar, reveal a Great 3 in your hand. Look for your deck for Blue Storm Dragon Maelstorm. Discard a Great 3 and shuffle your deck. And just for now, I don't have Blue Storm PGs. Uh, Sunnies, I went to a lot. I went to a lot of locals. And I got a lot of from friends. Just generic PGs. Doesn't matter which one you use. Um, flipper ones are probably the best. And then two in the, the uh, limit breaking neighbors. These are like dollar, two dollars. Now on to the great twos. We are running four Blue Storm Blue, Blue Storm Soldiers Rascal Sweeper. And what he does is, if he's the first attack, he gets plus two. And if he attacks anything, he gets plus two. So, first attack. Um, and it, okay, my bad. His second ability is, if he's the first attack, uh, that he attacked Vanguard, you swap him with your card. So, this is um, the ideal column. Because you swap into this, you attack 11 to the Vanguard, you swap into this. This is a 12k attacker now. Which is very, very nice. And it guarantees the second attack that w really quick. We're running four Magnum Assaults. Generic Restander. And then we are running three High Tights Never. Third attack or more. 
Dragon Tiger more, and it gets Soul Blast 1, and it gets plus 10,000. And it can attack anything, which is very, very, very nice. On to the grade 3s. No, I am missing one of the key grade 3s for my deck, so I'm using a substitute, but it's not a great substitute. Uh, okay, so I have four of the new Melstorm Break Right. Blue Storm Mil um, Dragon Melstorm. It's the same generic name, so it's searchable from the grade 1. And what he does is, okay, he guarantees the effect of Old School Melstorm. Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 1, when Aqua Force writes this unit. If it is the fourth battle of the turn or more, um, select one of your opponent's units, retire it, draw a card, and your opponent can't guard with zeros. And his, his other Vanguard skill is third attack or more, wave third attack or more. If he hits, look look through your deck for a Melstorm, which is super nice. So he puts a humongous amount of pressure on because you don't want to let your opponent, because your opponent does not want to let you search out free cards. So you guys are probably thinking, oh, he's probably running, because he's running the break, and he's probably running... Glory Maelstorm, but I am not. I do plan on running Reverse. I personally like Reverse 100% better than Maelstorm. Maelstorm is good, yes, but putting yourself to, risking yourself to 5 damage is a little risky. Because it's like, oh, you're 4 damage, and let's say your opponent doesn't have any attackers, you want to no guard because you want to get to that 5 damage, and you can, he, can, he can get that random crit, and then you lose, and you get salted. And I, don't, I really don't want to run the, the Limit Break 5 enabler, because then I'll have to run the Limit Break 4, both of them on field, and have to go off and then won't go off. Um, reverse Millstorm, I like it much better because, um, you plus no matter what, for the card pluses no matter what. Because its skill is, um, it's an auto, which is very nice, it's not an act. Fourth attack or more, counter blast one, lock one of your unit, rest one of your units and lock it, even though it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, or I think it does happen. And so what it does is, it gives itself plus five and a crit, and if it doesn't hit, you retire one of your opponent's units and draw a card. So basically, break right, attack, uh, fourth attack, no zeros. Um, you retire a unit guaranteed from his effect and draw a card. And then, if your opponent does not take the damage, you retire another card and draw another card. But if it does go through, your opponent takes two damage. So, reverse Melstorm is 100% more scarier than Glory Melstorm at four damage. Because, yes, it's nice. Yes, I'm going to break right about five damage. But let's say your opponent's at four. Okay, your opponent can't guard. But, Millstorm doesn't get a crit. He doesn't give himself a crit. He gives himself plus 5,000. And so, basically, you're riding on a crit trigger. And if the crit doesn't appear, then you're sort of out of luck for your play. Because even even after the break ride's done, Millstorm still puts a crit every turn every time you attack. Which is very, very scary. So, for my backup, I'm running for Jockey of the Great Sea Skyros. Not that great. GB1 gives your whole front row resist. Well, rear guard resist. His other skill is, um, when it's placed on Vanguard, choose your Vanguard or Rearguard. When it's a third attack or more, look at the top five for a card with the wave ability, which the new Millstorm does have, and you get a search for a card. Now, on to the strikes. I, uh, I need one more. Um, Blue Storm Dragon, Blue Storm Martial Dragon, Admiral Millstorm. And what he does is, when he attacks Vanguard, it goes a fourth time or more. Catalyst. If he hits, counter blast one, select three of your opponent's units, your opponent selects one card, selects one unit for each face-up copy of him in the G-Zone, and you draw a card. So basically, late game, you have three face-up, it hits, your opponent retires three, and you draw a card for free. For one counter blast, that's the only time you pay for the cost, which is very, very nice. It's not, when it attacks counter blast one, unplug a copy, and YOLO it, it's not, which is nice. Um, I need one more, so I'm using hit from substitute. When your units third attack or more counter blast one, they get plus 5,000. Um, I do plan on running the on hit, not the on hit, the the promo stride from the clan from the Force clan booster. Third attack or more, kind of last one. You select one of your opponent's units and kill it. And four on hits for now. Um, the deck has been running very smoothly, but of course I've been whiffing because um, of this card because I don't have reverse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember the ending, and thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe.